You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forgiveness Friday. This is the day we're going to talk about a sin and put it to the test to see, is it forgiven in Christ, in holy absolution? Is it a sin that the death of Jesus on the cross covers? Because remember, there is not one sin that Jesus did not die for on the cross for you. Now, we hear this, and it kind of falls, and we go, okay, yeah, but, you know, Pastor, there's some sins that are just, they're too much. So we're going to cover one of those big ones today that's very misunderstood. Suicide. Someone taking their own life. Now, some may say, well, the problem with suicide is, unlike other sins, you don't have time to repent afterwards. Like if you get angry or you have lust or you lie, you can be called out for it by the law and repent and be sorry for it. But with suicide, you don't have that chance because you've ended your own life. You've taken your own life. And it's a sin that somehow is unforgivable because you didn't have the time to repent of it. But what's the problem with that? Then we're basing absolution on that repentance. Now, is repentance part of it? Of course it is. But the reality is, if we base being forgiven off how sorry we are for something, how penitent we are, then now absolution isn't based on Jesus Absolution is instead based on our ability to feel sorry for something we did. And can we ever be sorry enough for it? Can we ever say, well, Lord, I, I, I finally hit the, the line where I'm fully sorry for what I did. And then Jesus says, now you can have my mercy. No, it's not how it works. So suicide is absolutely a sin that is forgiven in Christ. When we look at what it is. Luther, in his table talk, said, They who commit suicide, take their own life, do not wish to kill themselves, but are overcome by the devil. For there is no difference than a man who is murdered by a robber in the woods. So he makes this point that those who take their own life, it's not like they're doing it in good conscience. It's not like they're doing it with this joyful demeanor. They're doing it because they are overcome by despair. They're overcome by the devil, overcome by the world and its anxieties and depression and the struggles with sin. All these things piled heavy on them. This seems like the only way to escape it and the only way to get out of it. They're overcome with despair. So is this despair in Christ forgiven? Absolutely. The reality is Christ on the cross, assumed every sin as his own, not just the little sins like, you know, occasionally telling a little white lie or going through a red light when you knew it wasn't yellow anymore, but you did it anyways, not just, and then he said the rest of these big ones like suicide, you have to take care of yourself and work it out. No, he assumed every sin as his own and therefore every sin in Christ is forgiven. So what does this mean for us then? Well, three things. First, it is a confession of the reality of how powerful the despair is that the devil places people in. The devil, even though God remembers our sin no more, the devil writes them all down and constantly reminds us of them, pointing them out to us. The world doesn't forget our mistakes, our embarrassing moments, and reminds us of them all the time. Our old Adam is always swimming back up after being forgiven and trying to drag us back down into the worries and cares of this life. So when we say that only Christ can forgive it, only Christ can take care of it, only the mercy of Jesus can usher someone from that despair unto life eternal. It's a confession of how serious suicide is. We're not watering down the sin. 
so that it's not a problem anymore. No, we confess it for its fullness in order that we may not water down the death of Jesus for us, that he took care of all of this on the cross. And that then leads us to the reality of who does take their own life is someone who is lonely, someone who is alone. You've heard it when you, maybe a friend of yours has taken their own life. People say, "How I can't believe this happened. They seem so happy. They had everything in life. How could they ever do this? Well, they had a mask on. Every day when they went through life, they, they didn't tell you everything they were going through, everything they were feeling. But Jesus knows. Jesus knows everything about you. He knows every failure, every sin, and yet died on the cross for you. He is the only solution to the absolute problem of loneliness because we know he won't reject us because he's claimed us. He won't go away when we tell him a sin because he knows it about us. He knows the worst of us. He knows the dirtiest stuff. He knows the darkest stuff, and yet he's still here. Because remember, St. Paul says, nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And that leads to the third, how we comfort each other in the midst of suicide. The bereaved, those who are left behind. That we don't point to the reality that it's not a big deal. Or what we do is we point to Christ and say, Christ overcame it on the cross for us. That our friend, our mom, or our dad, or our brother, or our sister, or our classmates, whoever it may be, that person, Jesus did not let go of. Remember, Jesus says, no one can snatch them out of my hands. And he's not going to let go of the one who's in such despair that the only thing they think will work is taking their own life. Because Christ has laid down his life on the cross that he may lift theirs up unto eternity. So is suicide a sin that is forgiven by Jesus? Yes, absolutely. And we must comfort one another in that reality that there isn't a sin he didn't do the work for on the cross for us. So may you take heart and be at peace. And may the devil, may his voice just be muted. The devil's voice muted and the remote control hidden in the couch. The world be silent so you can't even hear it. It's, it's not even white noise. You can't even hear it. And the old Adam just be drowned and down in the depths of the ocean that you may hear only Jesus who says, I love you, all of you, every single part of you I love. I forgive you every sin, all of you forgiven, and I claim you completely as my own forever. So be at peace, my friends. Every sin is taken care of. And Jesus is your merciful Lord whose mercies are renewed, as we say in the Psalms, every morning. God bless you all, and peace be with you. We'll see you next time.